there. You already have the moped joint. So go out there, deliver some food, and make some. You want a sandwich? You want a sandwich? He got a ham and cheese sandwich on a, on a um, roll. I told him, I was like, yo, bro, you get a hero if you want to. He didn't want a hero. And uh, I told him, get whatever drink he wanted or whatever the case may be. I do these type of things because I don't do it for karma, like good karma and stuff like that. I, I, I do it because, bro, that could be me. And that's what people don't understand. That could be me. That could be you. Don't think just because it's not you right now that, that, that it's not going to be you in the future. I'm pretty sure he didn't think that he was going to be like that in the future. I'm pretty sure he didn't think that. So I treat these people as if how I would want to be treated if I was homeless, bro. I ask them if they want meals. I ask them if they want, if they need a coat. I ask them if they, if it, when it's cold outside, I go out there and give coats. When, when it's, um, I ask them if they want something to drink. I ask these people these these questions because the last thing you want to do is ignore it in the sense of homeless person because they already lost everything. They already lost everything. They already lost everything. They lost everything, man. So the last thing that they want to they they need that they need is people ignoring them and. Treating them like they're scum. They already don't have anything. So why treat them like they're scum? Why? Why? That shit hurt. That hurts. To be honest, that I, it's making me emotional a little bit. Why would you wanna? Why would you wanna call people names? These homeless people names and do all of this to them? They're humans, man. They didn't ask for that. They're still human beings with feelings. They have emotions. They have... Come on, man. They still... They still... Human, man. And so... Help somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, help somebody now. You know, 